Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at the Royal Drift Tours R32 with that US Drift banner because round two of US Drift is coming up here very shortly. So we're going to take a look at the track, get some test runs, and see if we can't figure out round two's layout. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll just follow the description box below. Let's get to it. So round two of the US Drift Series is at Kill Care. So definitely a fun track and I've had a lot of fun with this track. So we're gonna take a little course walk first to get an overview of the track and kind of where we need to be. So we have of course the traditional start gate of US Drift and ESDA. We have the driver do not cross line and we have an initiation up onto a wall ride up here which then comes down off the track into a inner clip which then goes into a wall ride on the outside and then hooks really deep in into an inner clip which goes to this outer clip to a nice wrap around section to one final inner clip and then an outer zone to the finish so it's a very, I would say simplistic track, but managing these banks and everything with these cars is gonna be the thing that I'm gonna probably struggle with the most. Keeping the car in power so I don't straighten up and being able to keep in drift. So we're gonna go full send on a bass tune and see what we can do just on a bass tune. So let's see what we can do here. First try out. Up in that zone. Did not get high enough onto that wall. Overall, not a terrible run overall. Could have done way better on the bank and kind of struggled in that last part. But for a first run out, that wasn't too bad of a run. I will take that as a uh, first run for sure. Just have a love how this car sounds. So we're going to go full send for run number two. That turbo is so loud. All right, we're gonna we're gonna turn that down just a smidge. All right, second run out. Oh, I keep forgetting about the angle of these cars is not like my ESDA car. Coming off that bank is definitely interesting. Mild transition there to get all the way out to the grass. Ah, too much clutch kicks towards the end. But overall, we gotta get rid of that sidebar. Overall, not a bad run. Definitely could do a lot better in the zones, but for first runs out, Definitely uh, feeling okay in this car. So we're gonna go back, reset our tires, and run this like we would in a qualifying situation. We're still trying to get this car dialed in with suspension and things like that. We're gonna run it on cold tires because we did have a bit warmer tires in that first run from doing that course walk. So we're gonna go in cold tires. Definitely a little different on colder tires. Oh, definitely gotta watch out for that because wheels went zero steer after that wall hit. We just need to be able to stay in power and not over rotate like that because then we gotta change our angle, which is not something that judges are gonna wanna see when it comes to scoring. 
So, overall, I feel like I need to get the suspension a little more dialed. Uh, I need to tweak the gear ratio and things like that because I feel like the gearing is a little bit off from where I need it to be to where I feel comfortable with the track. So we're gonna do one more run as we just smack a smack a cone. I think we might have knocked our wheel out of place too. Like wheel in the car, not on my actual fan attack, so. Try initiating higher up on the wall. Still coming up short on that wall. I'm worried about smacking it into the wall. That was a very wide hook back. No! Okay. That was almost a zero. So we're going to make a quick adjustment to the car. Give it a good two more runs here. Then we'll take a look at those final replays of these final two runs and digress it from a third person or a overhead perspective. So let's go full send with the adjustments that were made. Just a wall tap, nothing major. That's much higher up on that section. Caused me to be a little wide there. So the adjustments do feel better, but I need to uh, get used to those adjustments. So one final run for today's episode. Make sure you follow me on all social media. I'll let you find the description box below. If you guys are in US Drift, I will be probably trying to hit up the public servers to get some practice and get some tandems and hopefully uh, get a good qualifying spot for round two because round two is actually on my birthday. So there's that and hopefully super excited to be able to compete in it. Let's see what we can do. Initiate higher on the wall. I need to figure out that wall section for sure. All the clutch kicks involved. So we're going to switch it up and we're going to go take a look at the overhead and see what it looks like from, I guess, a jumping standpoint. the final two runs so let's take a look at this definitely initiating way soon maybe we need to initiate later initiating before the first third line that one was not bad in that section that was a little bobble there way wide there and a little bit of a tire drop there all right so Definitely can take the beginning part of this run from this one. So now let's take a look at the second run. So like I said, make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All the description box below. Sights and sound of this R32. That was much better on the wall.
So overall, I think a successful practice session. Definitely going to be doing some more tuning and some more testing and all that. So make sure you follow me on social media. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm your rabbit. I will see you guys on the track.